another truck setup update. Analytics say you guys like that. I make the most money off those videos. I'm being honest, okay? Obviously, you guys like this type of stuff. You're interested in the truck setup and the things that are going on. The first thing I'm gonna tell you is, yes, the hose reel finally blew out on me. It finally happened. But I have a workaround for that. I'm gonna show you how you can still use this for the retractable function without using it for the water itself. Um, and then also all the little upgrades that I've done to the truck bed setup uh, since the last video. All right, so let's go. All right, so right off the bat, I'm gonna go with the hose reel um, and show you what I've done with that to make it still usable. Um, everything still works as far as the retractable function. Pulling it out still works the same. I can still pull out all 50 feet. All right, so all 50 feet is pulled out as you can see. And I'm gonna show you on the side here, I still have the hose attached to the reel, but I only do that so it makes it easier for when I pull it out so that extra hose doesn't just start flipping around. But I'm gonna show you the workaround right now. Okay, so you can see here, I took off the swivel. There's no swivel on here anymore, it's all gone. And I put these two hose reels a lot closer together, um, which I actually really like. I have a quick connect down here for the hose to attach to, like I said, just to hold it on. So the first step to make this still usable would be to detach the hose from this quick connect here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now, just like so. You're gonna go ahead and attach it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come around here. As you can see, I've got my pressure washer here. Here's my Rabi pressure washer here. It's still attached. It's still open, so no water comes out with it detached. I still have some water here in the 65 gallon tank. So what I do as my workaround is when I get to a job, I pull out all 50 feet. I take this out and I attach it just like that. Okay, so the hose is attached. All you gotta do is make sure to turn the power button on, right? Because you wanna have the power off whenever the generator turns on so it doesn't just start spitting water everywhere. So you're gonna have the power off. You're gonna reel out all 50 feet. You're gonna attach this to your pressure washer once the generator is on and this is ready to go, you're gonna hit the black button on this particular model. Okay, so after you do all that, obviously you just do the opposite. So you turn off your generator, pull the trigger, let the pressure out. You're gonna detach the hose from your pressure washer, put it through the hole into the quick connect, and then you can reel it all right back in, right? Easy peasy. I understand that's gonna be cumbersome to some. I don't really mind, especially because it's saving me a hundred and something bucks to buy a new reel. Now. If you're the type that wants it all to work all the time, then sure, go help, go ahead and buy yourself another $110 reel. Not a big deal. For me right now, I'm gonna run it like this for a little while. I am gonna buy another one again, just because I want to. Um, it lasted me about six months before it blew out. And of course, guess when it blew out? Hot sunny day, black truck in the sun, covered in foam. I swear to God, that's exactly when it blew out on me. First thing I did, turn off the generator, release the pressure, unscrew it, put it directly on the pressure washer, reverse, and get right back on to wash. And it only took me about five minutes or so. But um, if that happens to you, that's how you fix it. So there you go. Now I'm gonna move on to the next upgrade. Next thing I wanna point out is on the uh, air hose reel itself. I uh, replaced the stock air hose with a Flexzilla 3 8 by 50 foot. You can see here. Flexzilla. Man, I'm telling you right now, I love this hose. It is incredibly lightweight, incredibly flexible, just like every other Flexzilla product. I also went and replaced the end that it came with because it sucked. Uh, this is a, a Merlin um, fitting right here. What I really like about this one is you don't have to pull it back to attach anything. You just literally push it right in. So I put that on there to upgrade that. One thing I didn't realize is how heavy the stock hoses. Maybe the hose that you have is super heavy on your air hose reel and you don't even realize it. Obviously it's a first world problem, I get it, but you throw on that Flexzilla hose and I'm telling you right now, the weight savings is like, it's like at least half, if not more. I mean, it's just so light in comparison to the original hose that I have. I think it's an excellent upgrade because I can just throw it around, toss it with me. Anything that can lower fatigue in a job, uh, especially when you're spending hours or you're out in the sun, I think is a positive. Last upgrade with that hose reel 
I bought a little 90 right here. These little 90, 90 degree fittings just to make this a little cleaner, be able to move things a little bit closer. I need to do the same thing on this once I replace this hose reel. I'm gonna put a 90 on that so I can keep these closer and it's nice and clean. Um, and that's the last thing that I did to the air hose reel to upgrade it. Next thing we're gonna move on to, yes, I got a brand new 50 foot uh, extension cord reel. This one is a Husky. 50 foot, I think it's a 14 gauge. And it's got three plugs on here. This is gonna be everything that you need to run anything light off of this extension cord reel. You're not gonna be able to run like a steamer or anything that's gonna blow the circuit out. It's only 13 amps. But if you're just gonna to try to run like your vacuum, a uh, little small stuff, like you can run the Max Shine handheld blower uh, off of that if that's the kind of blower that you're running there. Um, I'm not sure about ozone machines. If somebody knows how many amps an ozone machine pulls, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm not sure, but maybe you can run one of those off of it. Um, either way, very, very cool. Um, I need a new one because the Flexzilla one that I had, the teeth broke and I just, I had to keep pulling out the, the cord and tying it in a knot and I just got sick and tired of it. So I got rid of it. So for the same price, I got a Husky. Husky has a lifetime warranty through Home Depot. So excellent, excellent upgrade in my opinion. All right, y'all. That's all she wrote. That's it. Those are all the upgrades that I've done. Like I said, I found a workaround for a broken seal on a retractable hose reel. So for you guys that did that, if it does break on you, this is your workaround. Make sure that you watch that section of the video if you need to, as many times as you need to, so you get down your routine. And literally it takes me 30 seconds. It's it's not a um, like too much of an inconvenience for me. It's just more of a, man, that sucks. Because I would like it to work for you know the whole purpose of having that retractable reel. So I got you a workaround for that. I also showed you some awesome upgrades for your air hose reel, the Flexzilla. Uh, the 90 degree angle, the uh, press in uh, fitting at the end of the hose, which makes things easier. It's less of this, less of that pulling and everything on there like that. So like I said, anywhere you can lower fatigue when you're detailing, amazing. You're spending hours out in the sun on vehicles, everything all added together is really gonna help save you some energy. So uh, lastly was the Husky 50 foot um, extension cord reel. I am excited to try it out. I just installed it before this video. So I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out, make sure it works. Uh, it's 13 amps. I believe the last one I had was 15 amps, which is, it's pretty close. So I don't think I'll have any issues with that. But also all the links in the description, yes, they are affiliate links. They don't cost anything extra. They do give me a couple of cents really. Um, so it does help out the channel. I appreciate if you use those links. If you don't, no harm, no foul. All right, y'all, thank you for coming back to another video. I appreciate all you guys, the Stay Sick family. Thank you guys for coming back to another video. Thank you for sticking with me during this time where I'm not doing a lot of videos. I'm very busy with family, church, my band. Obviously the business is picking up, so I'm gonna try to get these uh, videos out as quick as I can for you guys because I know you guys are hungry for content. So I'm gonna get that out for you guys, all right? All right, I appreciate all you guys, all my Stay Slick fam. You guys have a good day, all right? Peace, stay slick, get it.